guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. I have an antique booth called Green Onion Vintage and today I went thrift shopping looking for some things that I could hopefully sell in my booth for a profit. I have not been thrifting in a while and it was a lot of fun to get back out there. I know that right before Christmas is kind of an odd time of year to go thrifting. I wasn't exactly sure what to expect, but this is actually some of the best like actual antiques that I found at my local Goodwill ever. Um, normally my local Goodwill is just like the worst for actual old stuff. I almost always have to buy stuff there that I can upcycle. Um, but I actually found some actual antiques today. So I know this is a small haul, but I thought I would go ahead and share with you what I got. Um, just because it's been a while and I enjoy doing these videos. So first up, I found a set of these four antique badminton rackets. I love the patina of the wood. Some of them are kind of split. They've been repaired a few times. So I thought that these were really cool. Um, my, my vision for these would be just to hang on a wall. Maybe you have like a wall collection of antique vintage sports stuff, or even like in a little boy's room if you had just a couple other things. These would pair really well with like the felt pennants, which are really popular right now. They're definitely making a big comeback. And they can be pretty pricey also, but if you get like the college um, felt pendants and hang these with them, I think that would be really cool. So that is kind of leading me to be unsure about whether I should sell these as a bundle or not. I don't think that if anyone's going to use them for decor that they're going to need four of them necessarily. So I'll probably price them individually. And I paid $3 a piece. So I was thinking I could get more like $8 a piece. The one I found online that was pretty similar was $28, but that might be a little bit higher than what is realistic. That was on eBay and it hadn't sold yet. Okay, next up, these are definitely not antique at all. And I think I've maybe seen them somewhere, but I couldn't find a marking or anything, but just two really kind of heavy duty white ceramic bowls. They're like a large cereal bowl kind of, so they're not a mixing bowl size, but I really like these. I think that I might actually keep these because I've switched almost all of my dishes to just like very basic white ceramic. Most of them are from Ikea, which is pretty cute. And I only paid, I paid $2 a piece, but these are oven safe up to 450 degrees. So if you have one of these, tell me where you got it from. I have a feeling it's just from Walmart, but let me know. Next up, another <laughs> just kind of white ceramic. I tend to go for it. Just a little white ceramic mug. It has a black edge on the top, so it kind of looks like antique enamel. But it is all the way ceramic. And you know what? I think that Magnolia Home sold these for a bit. I'm trying to pull the sticker off now from Goodwill. Um, but I only paid a dollar for this. And no matter where it's from, a dollar was a really good price. And I'm thinking about even like uh, putting like a little initial on it in permanent vinyl for a Christmas gift. Or I might even set it away for Christmas for my booth next year and doing like a little bottle brush tree inside and then a little vinyl something that says like Merry Christmas. Very similar to the one that I did on a big enamel um, like soup pot where I put a big tree in. I did that video maybe like three or four videos ago. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I've done a DIY video very recently where I put a big tree in an enamel pot and then I put the words Merry Christmas on it in vinyl with my Cricut. It turned out really, really cute. So I do have an idea to do like a miniature version in, in any like enamel piece that I find during the year. And what I need to do is make the little vinyl for it right away and then just store it so that at the end of the year I'm not scrambling trying to get all my crafts done for my booth because it is a really busy time of year aside from all of the antique booth stuff. Um, and then in addition to that and kind of on that same thought, I found three of these collectible mugs. This is the version that has the red stripe on top. There's also a really popular version that has a green stripe instead. So one side has a Christmas tree and one side has this little holly. I only paid 50 cents each for these. And these are the like authentic brand um, that I don't know how to pronounce. 
uh, Cuthbertson is my very Midwest way of pronouncing it. So you tell me down in the comments how it's supposed to sound. So the reason I picked these up, I know that these are not uncommon. They're pretty easy to find, but I don't know that the ones that are easy to find are always made in England. I know there's some knockoffs that go around that are made in China. And the three mugs that I found today and then four matching dinner plates all say made in England. I don't feel like they're very old, but they are the true brand. And then being made in England was enticing to me, especially compared to something else made in China. I think I'll do the same bottle brush um, in a mug thing, like that concept for next year. I just hate to keep putting things away to store for next Christmas. Um, it's just, you know, it's a whole year away. But I feel like if I put them in the booth right now, it's just a little too late. So I don't know, I might try to sell them right away. If I can get some bottle brushes, maybe I'll just try to do that immediately. So stay tuned. Maybe I'll go to Michael's tomorrow and see if there's some things that are marked down. If you are someone who has a collection of those or of these plates that go with it, can you just tell me all the information that you know about them? I just know that I've seen them a lot and I've even seen them brand new like in Home Goods. But when I saw them in Home Goods, it was just like a week ago actually. I didn't pay attention to if it was a print from England or if it was from China. Lately, I just feel like I can't even find five minutes to do anything besides like the basic necessities of life. The fact that I got to Goodwill feels like a miracle, but like for me to have time to go research this right now, it feels like I can't even get to the computer to do it. Part of that is just having three little boys, but also like all the Christmas stuff going on. It's all good things, it really is. It's just, I can't find the time to do one more thing. So if you know things about this, let me know down in the comments. I would love to read that. A couple more things. I found just a little chicken wire basket. I just grabbed this because it was only $2 there. And I mean, at Home Goods, these can be more like $8. I mean, 10, 12, depends what store you're shopping at. So um, this one's in great shape. I know I could either use it in the house or easily sell this in my booth for a profit. And then I think the very last thing, I actually didn't grab these today at Goodwill. My parents got them at a yard sale. Um, and I have to double check what they paid for them. But it's just actually two of these wooden windows. Um, they're 20 inches by 25 inches, which is kind of a nice size for me to work with. Um, normally my windows are quite a bit bigger. And these are nice and lightweight. I guess the modern windows are that way. Uh, so if you're not new to my channel, you've seen me do many, many window projects. So I'm kind of thinking that for these, I will do a set of windows that are a matching pair um, and kind of make them more wintry and not Christmassy because like I said, we're getting down to the wire for the Christmas shopping season and I don't really want to put these in at a time where they're going to need to be discounted. I think most of the store right now that I'm in has Christmas already on sale. Kind of the business of it is trying to figure out how to still make money, how to not have a ton of inventory on hand at the end of the day. Um, you really don't want to be storing things, and, but you also don't want to give your stuff away that you've been working on and that you paid money for. So um, there's a lot of that thought process going on. I don't, can't say that I've got it figured out by any means, um, but that is the kind of stuff that you have to think about if you are running a business like that, which is pretty much any retail business this time of year. Uh, so I'm gonna go winter, not Christmas. To me, that means I'm probably gonna paint these like a dark green. I really like the collard greens from Dixie Belle, which I sell on my Etsy site, or I might even stain these dark and then do a flocked wreath on them. Um, I think a flocked wreath can easily carry you through winter and not just be um, strictly Christmas. I'm really excited that most of these things are not Christmassy and so I'm trying to kind of come up, some, come up with some stuff that I can put in my booth. I mean basically in two weeks when Christmas is over and it kind of comes to an abrupt halt like people don't want to be buying Christmas stuff even the day after Christmas it needs to pretty much be out of our booth because I know people are really done at that point so I need to have stuff kind of ready to go right away for probably the day after Christmas when we go in and just do a big booth rework. So that is all, everything for my haul today. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I picked up. If you guys wanna see how these things look in my antique booth and see how my windows turn out, I will have an antique booth tour coming up soon and some more DIY videos. Thanks so much to everyone who's asked if I was okay after the tornadoes. I do live in Edwardsville, Illinois, and that is where the Amazon warehouse was 
completely wiped out last week. Overall, we're just grateful that Edwardsville as a town really wasn't touched. We're just really praying for those families of those Amazon workers. I hope you guys are doing well. I will see you in the next video. Bye.